Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to episode 2 of my FIFA 16 player career mode with Blackpool and in this episode we have 3 games but as you see on my screen right now I have downloaded my game face onto my pro and I guess it kinda looks like me a little bit but it definitely looks a lot better in game. However going into our first game of the episode against Fleetwood the team is Doyle, Boyce, Jones, Aldred, Robertson, Potts, Norris, McCallum. Samuel Patterson and me and in the 23rd minute I have a nice little finesse shot but it just whistles past the post in the 28th minute Fleetwood have an attack of their own but the shot is easily saved by the keeper 36th minute they have another opportunity but that just goes way wide of the post nothing troubling us there and in the 58th minute we go 1-0 up through a goal from me there was actually no power behind the shot how that even went in I will never understand but a goal is a goal and it's a goal from a pro so I'm going to take that all the way so as you see here the ball gets put over across plays it into the guy I don't know his name and then into me and then the shots just got no power I don't know how that went in but I'm going to take it and in the 67th minute I have an opportunity myself but nothing to trouble the keeper right there 72nd minute though if Lee would have an opportunity but nothing to trouble the keeper. In the 79th minute I try to go for a bit of the finesse but it just goes past the post. Very unlucky not to score there. And in the 84th minute, Fleetwood have a bit of an opportunity, a little bit of a mix-up in the box. Keeper does very well to react to that. And that is how the game would end. We won that game 1-0, a 6.4 rating. After that game, we get news that Tom Aldred has a broken ankle and he will be out for three months, which is not good. But going into our next game against Carlisle, we have Doyle, Boyce, Ferguson, Jones, Dunn, me, Cabero, McAllister, Cameron, Patterson and Ranger for this game. And in the 34th minute, we have an opportunity, but it goes past the post. Moving on to the 40th minute, we have another opportunity. Keeper does very well to put that round for a corner. In the 43rd minute, Carlisle have a shot, but the keeper does very well to save it. In the 56th minute, I get a nice little bit of finesse goal right there into the left-hand corner of the goal. Running over, doing a little bit of my storage celebration. But yeah, as you see, the guy just plays it into the box, drags it back. And then I just somehow pitted onto my left and just finesse that into the corner. What a brilliant goal for someone of my pro. And just after that goal, I actually get subbed, which sucks. So I decided to watch the rest of the match. And in the 67th minute, Carlisle have a free kick, but it goes over the bar, nothing to trouble the keeper. In the 72nd minute, though, they have another opportunity. How that guy did not score there, I will never understand. And in the 90th minute, they have an opportunity to get a goal back, but whistles past the post, very lucky for Russ. And that is how the game would end. I got a 6.8 rating, a little bit better than last time. So it means I am improving. And moving on to our final game against Gillingham. It's Doyle, Boyce, Dunn, Jones, Robertson, Potts, Norris, McAllister, Samuel, Patterson and me. And in the 18th minute, I get the ball on the edge of the box, take a strike, gets deflected and the keeper does well to tip that over to the bar. Moving on to the corner that we get from this, it's whipped in and Dunn is there to head it into the back of the net. I actually thought I scored it, but uh, it turns out it was actually done, which is a uh, fair enough, a goal is a goal, but it would have been nice for my pro to get on the end of that. But yeah, the corner gets whipped in and Dunn just climbs above everyone, including the goalkeeper, and puts it into the back of the net. 32nd minute, Gillingham have an attempt, but the keeper does very well to tip that round the post. In the 35th minute, a great bit of play on the counter attack sets me through and I just put my right foot through it into the bottom left hand corner of the goal to double our lead to 2-0 and there is my goal for this episode or this game should I say but yeah brilliant bit of play into me and then just using a little bit of my pace that I've got to try and beat off the defender and placed it in the back of the net and in the 39th minute Julian have another attempt and a great reaction save from our keeper right there in the 43rd minute, I pick the ball up on the left, whip it in, and Patterson is there to get the goal, bar and in from a great header. So as you see, I just try and make a bit of play out on the left. I whip it in, and Patterson just climbs above the defender there. Brilliant, brilliant placement with the header. And in the 82nd minute, Gillingham have a corner, but once again, our keeper has just been on fire and tips it onto the crossbar, and the game would end 3-0 to us. So I got a 7.1 rating from that game, which is absolutely brilliant. And we also get news that Emerson Boyce is injured as well. He's got a dislocated shoulder and he'll be out for eight weeks. 
and so I decided to do some training after that and I go for a bit of dribble course, chip shots, time in the pass, headers and volleys and basic free kicks. After completing them I got an A on the dribble course, A on the chip shots, time in the pass I actually got a C, headers and volleys I got an A and basic free kicks I got a B. But that is going to wrap it up for this video guys, so we are currently sitting top on 2 wins, 0 draws, 0 losses. Colchester, Coventry and Millwall all doing the same. In the bottom we have Shrewsbury, Fleetwood, Sheffield United and Gillingham all on two losses. Really not good for them at the moment. But yeah, that is going to be it. So if you have enjoyed, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!